Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. I'm back at the crochet. Here we like to talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. And that is just about all we do. Yeah, we don't talk about anything else. It's just yarn and crochet here. So if you like that type of thing, please join us. Hit that subscribe button. I got, today is, uh, what is today? Uh, 327 of 2024. And I have, as I'm making this video, close to 1300 crochet tutorials and I put them on all, quite often actually all the time um you know all you know they're all there anything you could ever want to make but today is not a crochet tutorial because we like to talk about yarn here too it's fun all right first off I do not have I don't have a tutorial for this hat it's store-bought I got um I don't know where it came from oh Mountain Meadow Wool it's a yarn company here in the U U.S. they spin the Throwing yarn. I bought some yarn from them one time. I got this hat. And then this sweater is for bought as well. So I don't, I don't have nothing for that either. I don't have nothing. I don't, I should be wearing my own stuff. I, I'm ashamed of myself. All right. Let's look at some yarn. Okay, well, first off, something came in the mail today that, you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been wanting this so bad. Oh, bag of day. Got it. Often. Etsy seller. Same one. I got it from the first time. It's the Red Heart Super Saver. Bitty stripes. In the color. Crown box. Oh, all right. All right. So, I already did a video on this, you know. Not uh, talking about it and stuff and everything. And... Thank you everybody that messaged me and that beautiful and told me that your inspiration tad um they had like four colors um for sale on their website i already bought it like four days ago this is not here yet but i appreciate everybody telling me about that i'm up on that stuff um but they didn't have this color so this one wasn't available um Actually, they, they they had a killer sale going on. I think it's still going on, or it was. I don't know. But this wasn't on sale. But anyways, they did have four colors of it. Um, but when I got there, they only had three left. I don't even know if there's any left now. But this one wasn't there. I wanted this one so bad. This is the Red Heart Super Saver Bitty Stripes. Like I said, I'm not going to go over it too much because I already did it. I made a hat, made a hat with it and whatnot. Not this color. I was just on the search for this color. And someone, it was only available in Canada at the moment. And it'd be in the States, I think, this summer. But anyways, you can get it on your inspiration. Well, you can't get this one, but some of them on your inspiration website. Um, I'm super stoked to get this. It's such a busy yarn, but yeah, it's so stinking cool. It does look like a box of like Melody Crowns, doesn't it? It's nostalgia. I love it. You can't beat nostalgia. You can't. Nothing can beat nostalgia. Nothing. I don't think, anyway. Alright, I'm going to show you some yarn that I got from, it's not, it's not a lot, but from uh, Webs. So I don't, I think there's only one yarn in here that I have had before. I didn't, I, I didn't use it, but I remember buying it from somewhere one time, and then I gave it away, but the, uh, the rest is all new to me. Yarn fingers. Never, never touched, never felt, never seen it, any of it in here. So I'm pretty excited. Oh, no, 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 there's two in here. I'm sorry. There's two, there's two, there is two in here that I've, that I've had. But actually, one of them I don't even really remember. But I, now that I'm opening up, I do remember this one. I remember it. And I think I still have the uh, other one I bought. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. All right. Invoice. Invoice. I didn't even know you came with an invoice. I was sitting there writing it out on a piece of paper before this started. All right, well, good. I'll remember that next time. All right, let's go ahead and start. So they were, you know, they had a sale going on, and I like Webs a lot. Webs has, <clears throat> they have some, um, you know, they have some nice branded yarns, um, a relatively competitive prices with everybody, if if not if not uh, cheaper. But not only that, they have it where well, the regular price price stuff. If you spend sixty dollars, you automatically get twenty percent off, and if you spend one twenty, you get twenty five percent off. And if you sign up to the mailing list, they'll have days or you know 
uh, where they'll have like 30% off and stuff like that. So you can get some killer good deals there, um, I think. Um, but I, I think most of this was on sale that I bought. Not all of it, but most of it was. So you don't you don't get the percentage off of that. But it was, you know, already on sale. So enough, right? We're talking, Crystal. Look at this. So I bought this before. One time. And it was inexpensive. And when I bought it, they only had one color. Um, it was yellow and gray. And I remember seeing this orange there going, oh man, that orange is so pretty. I would buy that orange if they had it. And I didn't think they would ever get it back in stock because they were, it was on sale back then. And I was looking at their sale stuff and there it was, still on sale. And they had, they had other colors. So I was pretty excited about it. So this is from uh, Lana Grossa. Um, I can't pronounce that, but that's what that is. I can't pronounce it, but that's what it is. So this is a 100 gram uh, cake here. It's 70% cotton, 19% virgin wool, uh, and 11% a baby alpaca. Isn't that pretty? It's, it's really thin. You know, it's a thin yarn, but that's that's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm. It smells good. Hey, it smells good. I like it. Why do you smell your yarn bag with that? Because I'm a weirdo. That's the best. <laughs> that smells so good. It smells like wool. Because I'm a weirdo. That's the best way I can explain it. I'm a yarn freak. All right. So this, this is uh, color number 403. Well, you'll be able to see it right when you get there. Main Inley, huh? Main Inley. 380 meters. So you got about uh, 420 yards or so. Something like that, you know? That's just a guess. That's You know what? That's just a guess. Let's see. How close I was. How close was I? 416. 416. I was that close for off the top of my head. Calculations from meters to yards. You know, us Americans, the only country in the world that uses yards and not, that, not meters. But that's okay. You know what? That's, just, that's the way we roll over here. We, we say uh, yards. So, a lot of stuff says meters and then you got it in my head. This is so pretty. So, I think they classified this as a sport weight number two. This stuff is was seven seventy nine a ball. I thought that was pretty good. There we go. That's a sport weight. Yeah, I think I think that's probably all right for sport weight. That's probably right on. Yeah, but I hold it up because everybody sees yarns weights differently, and everybody sees color differently. So whatever you say it is, it is. I'm gonna say that's probably a pretty good sport weight. Yeah, number two weight. Nice, nice. Isn't that color a beautiful? Yeah, yeah, you go there, and now they have, oh, can I say it? They, they got about half their colors back. That one's one that was so, this one is so pretty. They have a really pretty, like, uh, it's called Red Rose. It's how, they have a sold out. It was really pretty, too, but this orange one really spoke to me last time. So, anyways, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do with this bag of day? What are you gonna do with that? So, you can see the cell striping, right? You see the stripes in it? I guess, you know, it could be gradient. What do you, what do you think? That could gradiate out, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's possible that it could gradiate, be a gradient or a self-stripe. There's not really nothing like made up of it on their site, so I don't know. It's, I would be interested to know that, actually. Now, now I'm curious. It's uh, got a bit of the fuzz going on, so um, it's a uh, what type of yarn we got going on. I mean, look at it. It's so thin. It's so thin. It is a. Uh, it's a. It's a. It's a blown yarn. All right. And if you don't. If you don't know what a blown yarn is, um, blown yarn is often mistaken for chain spun. They're, they're kind of similar. Um, blown yarn is. It's a hollow mesh tube. Um, most often, it's white or black, depending on the color of yarn. And it's uh, like netted looking, so that's why some people would just say that it was chain spun. But and then what they do is they blow the loose fibers through that uh, hollow mesh tube. And depending on um, how, you know how they want the yarn to look, um, if they blow a lot of fibers through it, you know the fibers will, will leak out the the uh, mesh tubing, and that's why it gives it that little bit of a fuzz. Now that one is isn't bad. I like blowing yarn; it's it's really nice. Um, 
I like all your so <laughs> I like all. But no, blowing out's really nice yarn. Um, but sometimes it can get pretty fuzzy. But you know, I don't, I don't mind that. I like fuzzy yarns. So I like all yarn. I, like I just said, I mean, I like it all. I like it all for reals. I do. Sorry, I had to look it up to see what it looks like. It's self stripes. That's so pretty though. Um, yeah, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty stuff. I like it. I don't know what it does. Some of them it shows it looking like an ombre. I don't think it's an ombre, but you know, either well could be. I guess I, I just have to use it. Like, and then some of them show it. it I think it's self stripes. That's gonna be my guess. But hey, only time will tell, right? Only time will tell. And when I said that I like all yarn, I'm I'm scratching that from the record. I do not like shrubby yarn, and I do not like linen. I don't like. 100% linen and I won't buy a yarn even if it has 1% linen in it and I know a lot of people like linen and that's cool you know you like what you like but I don't know there's something about linen I know it softens up after after wash I know that of course I know that but it's just working with it it gives me the heebie-jeebies so I don't know this is something about linen that that creeps me out so I just uh, <laughs> I try not to buy it sometimes I accidentally get it like I don't I don't read the fiber content correctly. I can like tell it's got linen in it. I'm like, because it gives me that <laughs> feeling, you know? Anyways, let's, let's move on. I told you price on that and everything, right? I think I did. All right. Okay. And then I, I thought this looked interesting. I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I didn't expect this. But you know what? I didn't know what to expect. So, I mean, I'm not disappointed yet. I haven't opened it. This is uh, from Plymouth Yarns. Let's, let's. I was mercerized cotton. Surely I read that. Surely I read that. Come on now. I know I read that. No, I, I, I don't have a problem with... Uh... Are you kidding me? I would say it was a three-weight mercerized cotton. All right, maybe that's why I... I don't have a problem with mercerized cotton. Really, I don't. Um, it's, 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 an, it's a nice cotton. Uh, but... Uh... I, you know, it's not my preference on when it comes to cotton. But yeah, I, I, this is actually really nice. It feels nice. It does feel like a mercerized cotton, though, if you've ever felt one. Felt mercerized cotton. If you haven't, maybe uh, you've felt like Red Heart's, like, uh, crochet number 10 thread. You know, what they make doilies out of and stuff. That's that's a mercerized um, cotton. You know, stuff lasts forever. But um, it's, uh, it has a type of, like, coating on it. And you can always sell. It has a nice shine to it. Um, this is Plymouth Yarns. There's the name of it again. I can't pronounce that stuff. I can't pronounce anything. I'll let you guys pronounce that. You can read it. Okay. I'm not even going to try that one. I'm stopping. I always say I'm not going to try it, then I do it anyways. <laughs> this is 100% Egyptian uh, cotton, uh, mercerized, and gas. Plymouth Yarn Company. All right, so this was um, on sale. It was fifteen dollars, and they had it marked down to eight ninety nine a ball. It is one hundred percent mercerized, like I said, cotton, two hundred forty yards or two hundred nineteen meters. Um, and they say that it's a DK weight, which which would be a number three weight. It's not looking like a number three to me, but you know what? Let's check it out just to see it. The color is what got me. So it's pink and orange. Can you see that? My baby girl, um, Evelyn, Evelyn Rose, we, we pretty much just call her Rose. Gosh, she is such a pink girl. Like she is super duper. It's always been pink for her. Everything's always pink. But lately she's like an orange, orange and pink together. She's really been getting in the orange and pink together. So I saw this and it just reminded me of uh, her and I thought maybe I could make a little, a little summer top or something out of it. Um, let's just see how thin it is first, see if I can work with it because it ain't I, it ain't looking like a DK to me, but you never know. I know it doesn't look like a DK. Ooh, what do you guys think on that? Okay, they're, they're calling that a three weight. I'm gonna call that that that's that that's probably a two weight, thick or two, thick or two. They're saying it's a DK slash light worsted, so <clears throat> they think it's in between a three and a four. I would say that's probably in between a two and a three, but you guys call that what you will. I gotta make, I'm gonna make my daughter something out of it because she's gonna love it. She'll love it. I'll make a little summer top or something. 
Because I'm going to be making a dress soon anyways out of something else. So I think a little top out of this would be cute. 240 yards. Yeah, I got enough to make her a top. I actually got enough to make her. No, I don't. She's a big girl now. <laughs> you know? Um, so it takes a bit more. If, you know, if this was a four weight, I'd have enough. Because um, I got five balls. At 240 yards, of course, four weight would be enough. Even if it was a, a true D D a DKA, I think I could do it. I don't, I don't know. I might be able to get her dressed, but you know what? Like I said, I'm going to be making her dress for something else that I got going on. So, uh, I think that I'm going to make her a summer top out of that. I like, I, I think, I just think that pink and orange is beautiful. I do. I wonder what it looks like worked up. You only got one color left. Oh, This, I like this. I do. Especially for it being the most white cotton. The one I got left though is called cherry. It's like a couple different colors of pinks. Yeah, I'd recommend that. Um, when I was there, oh man, this came in like three days. Um, when I was looking and they had like four colors left, but they had this one called blue violet. Oh, it was so pretty. It was like, but it was out when it was going. Of course, all the, it was going. But I seen this on Mac Lee and I'm like, oh, I thought I thought a rose was on like shit like that. She'll love that orange or pink. I'm curious to see. It kind of looks like that's going to be a fader, like that. You know that orange is going to fade into that pink. Yeah, it will. It will. Yeah, so that, that, this I bought to make my baby girl a top. She'll love it. Oh, it's got different colors of pink up in there. Oh, you never know what you're going to find. That's the one of them, it's one of them yarns, you know. You never know what you're going to find. It's all rolled differently here. So, yeah. that Yeah, that's beautiful. It's, that, it's, the, the pink fades in it. Fades into that orange. So it's a fader. That is nice. We, I like the faders, you know. Um, I can't stand a, I, I'm not really big on abrupt stripe. I like stri self striping, but I have to color control it. I cannot. That gives me heebie jeebies too. I can't, personally for me, um, I can't, I can't tolerate when my project breaks in mid row, you know, like color change. So I have to color control it because I'm a stickler. But these are beautiful. I love them. I think, uh, Mm, I'll surprise my little girl and my baby with something and she will it's the color is uh, number 12 hot pink and orange they're sold out of it though that's a shame but I bet they'll bring it back because I noticed that they do that okay let's move on what's next um okay this I thought was like I don't know actually let's just do this one because it's here let's do this one because it's right on top uh, this is soft. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. This is this is actually really nice. I, I did really I don't even know what I expected with this. What did I expect with this? I got a big smile on my face. I don't know what I was expecting with this one. I don't think I was expecting this. Where is it? All right. So this is normally $17 a ball and they had it on sale for $11.05. That's still kind of pricey. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so it's called Stacy Charles Fine Yarns. This is the brand and it's Satina yarn. I've never heard of that brand ever. Isn't that pretty? So this is a, this is a chain spun right off. It's, you can see um, how it's spun um, with little chain formations. Chain spun makes a really lightweight garment um, because the chains, you know, they allow the air to go freely through. And it's just, in turn, gives you a really, it's really lightweight uh, garment. This reminds me so much of the drop sky that I made my grandpa cardigan out of. Do you guys remember that? I love that cardigan. I should wear that. I don't know what it is. It's something right over there. It reminds me of the drop sky a lot. Um, but it's thicker. And busier, of course. There's, there's no solid colors. Um, it's 90% merino um, and 10% polyamide. 165 yards. Ooh, um, this is more money than the drops, and that's that's just alpaca. But you know, this got more yards too. I like them both, but you know what? This is it. Hmm. They're both nice, but this one really feels like airier and lighter, and it's so squishy. This is nice. 
Uh, yeah, 90 merino, 10% ply mine, 165 yards, 151 meters, the 50 gram ball. Uh, 1.8 ounces. Now they're calling that a DK uh, yarn. Okay, DK, huh? You know, one thing I, I think I know about webs is they don't classify their yarns well. Um, but yeah, I get a probably a four way classification, definitely. But you know what? This is being this type of yarn, it's got some stretch on it. So I guess if you stretch it to the max, you got a DK. But just just it being itself, you know, that's a four way. That's a, that's no that's no DK. You got I bet I, you guys would be in agreement with me on that one, wouldn't you? That's not showing. I like that. The color is very very pretty. It's busy though, you know, busy busy yarn. But I guess uh, the colors blend well. So, hmm, it's really pretty. I like this one. What color is it? Color number, I was just, it's called Autumn Night. Of course, that would be the one that I would get. I only got two of them, though. Um, what, I don't know what I would, thought I was going to do with two of them. A hundred, I don't know, I guess I just didn't know what to expect with this one. I seen a picture, and I read, usually I read the fiber content. That's gorgeous. It's very soft. I like that. That's very pretty. Wow. Everything I got so so pretty so far. Um, now this one, I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I saw it and I'm like, what's this stuff? I've never, never seen this before. It's hairy. <laughs> um, ooh. Ooh. I don't even never heard of that brand either. Oh, it's so much fun seeing new brands. Sisa. Sisa. Sesia. S-E-S-I-A. Um, Dolce Tweed. Look at it, it is hairy. It's... Let's, look, let's look at the fiber. Okay, yeah, it's mohair. That's why it's hairy, man. It's got mohair in it. You know, that's it. When there's... I can't believe I've never even heard of that brand of yarn before. Ever. Have you guys heard of that brand? I, that's one thing I say about webs, man. They got a lot of brands I've never heard of. It's kind of fun to go there and, and get uh, yarns I've never seen. Look, you end up finding stuff that's, like, really nice. Like, like the three... That I opened. Those, those are those are nice yarns. I like those. I'm glad I got them. Like this one, I kind of just threw in. I'm like, it looks. It's my color, brown, you know, and it's got like orange flecks. Um, but is it gonna be cool? I don't know. I got two balls to so just to try it, you know. So it was twelve ninety nine. It's on sale for seven seventy nine. Still is right now. Uh, Forty three polyamide, thirty five silk, thirteen acrylic, and nine mohair. One hundred forty eight yards. One hundred and thirty five meters. And they say that it is a worsted, so it's a number four weight yarn. Um, uh, so this one's a roving style. So roving is uh, one ply. I think it's a roving. I don't know what that is. It's 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 different. It's it's roving wrapped with a string of uh, flex. See all the flex in it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, they're saying that's a four-way, huh? Well, let's look at the four-way here. Check it out. How good did you do, Webs? Let's see. Let's see. I'm sure they just go by the label. It's not their fault, but... Mm. I see a three weight, but you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Web, is, Web says it's a three or a four way. Whatever, it's a four. I'm saying, you can tell it's a four by or a three weight just by the, the. It's 50 grams and it's 148 yards. So, yeah, it's, that'd be three weight. Um. Yeah, it's got a twelve ninety nine price tag on it. Interesting. No, but I pay seven seventy nine. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. This, like I said, I got two balls of it. This one's flattened out. It feels okay, you know. I mean, it's not. I like all the flex in it. I think it's it's really pretty, and I don't mind that it's uh, got mohair or stuff in it. I, I like mohair. Um, you know, I'll probably make a hat out of this more than likely. That's probably what I'll do with it because. You know, I only got two balls for one. 
And the way it feels, I would call it, it's still, I would call it scarfable, which means I would wear it against my skin and not have to wear, you know, like a t-shirt under, under a sweater or anything. But it's on the verge of probably not being scarfable for some people, especially if you have sensitive skin. Um, I don't. And I can wear some pretty scratchy wool, but I don't think that this is like scratchy. This is average, you know. I like it. It smells good. I think it's really pretty. I don't, I probably wouldn't buy it again, but I think that this would be hat making material for me. Yeah. I do wish it was a four though. I prefer to make hats out of four weights and threes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Web says it's a three. Yeah. Or they said it's a four. I forgot. It's a four. No, I'm just kidding. No, I can, I can do hats out of threes. I have, I have many of them on my channel. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do with that. I like that. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And now this one, I I kind of knew what I was getting into was this one. But I ain't never had it. I, I've never had it before. So, you know, you you know, you know, see it and you're like, yeah, I think I know. But I never had it, so it's good to go. It is Juniper Moon Farms. Now, um, Juniper Moon Farms, out of like, uh, you know, non-big block store yarn, it makes it my top five favorite brands of yarn when it comes to uh mako cotton juniper moon farms is unbeatable they got the mako cotton locked down it's super nice from them even their alpaca um they have a 100 percent alpaca it's called harriet excellent excellent alpaca yarn and that would be highly recommended too um i felt a lot of nice alpacas though but theirs it would be in the top running but definitely never found another nicer mako cotton they they hold a record for that. So uh, this is Mallow Yarn. Mallow. I like the name. You know. Drinking some hot chocolate. Throw me some mallows in there. I'm just, I'm just being stupid. I'm sorry. Uh, it says that it's 74% uh, wool. 24% baby alpaca. It's a... Um, a luxurious blend of Argentine wool and baby alpaca. Well, they make it sound better than, than they did. What else? It's got 2% oh, elastic in it. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, you, you definitely don't want to put this in the washing machine or the dryer, you know, because you can tell, see, it's the Roven style. Um, and they, they say it's a bulky five. Um, a hundred and... 98 yards or 181 meters all right well so i you know i kind of knew what this was going to be like you know bulky five yeah i give it that i knew they would i knew jennifer Moon would, would classify correctly it's a good yarn company i like them a lot i do that's that's a nice bulky five too now rowing style one ply rowing you see that it's pretty color i really love that green it's called seaweed this one is called seaweed so this stuff's normally 19.95 uh juniper moon is an, is really not uh a cheap brand of yarn um not the most expensive but you know it's um but they had it on sale for 10.99 so almost half off for that's what i got um there's enough here that i can make a hat and that's probably what i'll do with it that was my intentions when I got it. So, it feels a little bit, you know, it smells really good, you know, because it's got a lot of wool in it. But, uh, as far as the way it feels, it doesn't feel bad for being, you know, 74%, uh, uh, you know, like straight up wool and with just a little bit of alpaca in it. It really don't. Um, I th I would wear a scarf out of it still, you know. I But I think many people probably uh, wouldn't. You know what I mean? But to me, I think it's very beautiful. And I will make a hat. It's very lightweight. It is very lightweight. I like it. It's nice. That will make a pretty hat, yeah. That will be a hat for me. A lot of my yarns end up being hats. That's just what I like. That's why I like to make hats. And I said that, yeah. It is what I expected it to be. Actually, though, it feels a little bit softer than I expected. Actually, I didn't know. Because I know Juniper Moon's It's really nice. But then again, I read the fiber content, and I'm like, ooh, that's some uh, woolly stuff. I don't know. But, you know, I it feels, I guess it does. It feels nicer than what I expected it to feel. I don't know what I expected. 
here I am saying I, I knew what I expected all along. I did know, and now I'm saying I don't know. You guys like rubbing yarn? A lot of people don't. Rubbing's my favorite. That's nice. This one's staying pretty consistent. There are some, rubbing can go from thick to thin. Some of it really heavy. Um, but this one's looking pretty consistent with our bulky five, actually. Gets a little, it's a little wavy here and there. That's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's actually, it's just got a, it's, it's got a loose, uh, loose, uh, twist on it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to make, wouldn't want to make a, make a mistake with that, but yeah. That's nice, that's pretty. Like it, like it, like it. This was not on sale. This, I probably shouldn't have bought. But I thought it was, like, so pretty. I'm kind of having buyer's remorse. No, it's pretty, but... I did get, um... Uh, 25% off of this. So, this is uh, Lana Grosta. That's the name of it right there. So, it's like mini yarns that I've seen before. Um, but, you know what? I've never seen this color. It was a new color. And, that actually, there were several new colors. And, I love this pink one. And then, there was a pink and blue one that was really pretty. I don't know. It was just this one. Um, I really like the colors on it. The pinks. And that's just so, like, Victorian color, isn't it? That's my style. I love that. Beautiful, beautiful pinks. And, yeah. Like, oh, really. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful dark. That is pretty. Now, the color alone on this is just absolutely stunning. The price isn't. It? But, it, this is pretty. Let's read about it. Um, a 60% virgin wool, 40% acrylic, 766 yards, yeah, or 700 meters, and they're saying it's an iron weight, huh? That'd be a four weight. Uh, I don't think that that's what that's going to be, but it, you know, it's a roving, so like I said, roving can go from thick to thin, but it's not looking like that's an iron weight to me, but I guess it depends on what you see. I, I guess maybe this, it could be a four. But what do you guys think? Yeah, no, thin or four. I call that a thin or four. But regardless, I guess it's still a four. I usually would say an Aaron Wayne thought it would be like a thicker four. And myself, if you ask. This is pretty. The color on this is remarkable. And it feels... This feels fine, yeah. Um, you know, it feels like a version of acrylic really blend. I can't really explain it. Is it the softest? No, no, because that, you know, it's a version of wool um, mixed with acrylic. But yeah, I would wear a scarf out of it. I think probably a lot of people would. I don't think it would aggravate, as long as you're not allergic to wool, that it would really aggravate too many people. Um, but no, it ain't gonna feel like cashmere or nothing. But yeah, it's, it's not bad. I think it's just down right gorgeous. It's gonna be self striping. It's it's the color for me. It's the color of it. Oh man, that is pretty. And you can wash it. It says, but don't dry it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to dry it. Definitely, definitely not. I would. I would. Yeah. Oof. It was thirty ninety nine. Thirty ninety nine. But you know, I like I said, I got twenty percent off of that. And. For some reason, Lana Grossa is, is is a pricey yarn. Um, and sometimes, I, I like her yarn. I like the yarn. I like the yarn brand. But sometimes, I just don't think that her brand is, like, ex, extraordinary. You know what I mean? It's like many brands that I've seen before. Like this. I could probably get this exact same stuff. Cheaper somewhere else. But I don't think I'd get this color. And it was a color that I was extremely attracted to. I mean, this is so Victorian. I think I could make a throw pillow out of this or something. Um, for my chair back there, that would be so pretty. And I probably got enough. Maybe not. That'd be an expensive throw pillow. Maybe I'll make a scarf. I'm going to save it. Nah, maybe I'll, you know, I'll give it away. You know that? I could do that. But the color is so pretty. I don't know if I can part with it. 
That's nice. I like it. I didn't like the price, but the color is absolutely pretty. Alright, I'm almost done here. Um, um, okay. Yeah. I got another Juniper Moon farm. Only because it was on sale. And I love the, the name of it. And the, <laughs> the name of it was in the colors. Too. It's called Juniper Moon. It's uh, 14. 14 is the brand paints. 14 paints. I see it on their site quite a few times. And it's been on sale for a long time. But I never bought it. And then I don't know. I thought, well, I might as well just give it a try. So this, ah, oh, this stuff's regular, $25 a ball, and they had it for $12.99. $25 a ball. Let's see what it, let's, let's read about it then. Why don't we read about it? <clears throat> so this is a chain spun yarn. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit tighter of a chain spun yarn. Um, 90 merino and 10, oh, it's 10 cashmere. Yeah, it's soft. It's a soft, it's a soft yarn. The color is it's pretty, the color is called um, Harquin. Um, that's my favorite crochet stitch. That's why I got it. But I can tell you, it does not match the picture at all. Um, and it's not just my device. They're, they're different. I have a TV up here with uh, shows what I'm looking at on my computer, and they both show it um, a lot darker. It's really really mild in comparison to what it shows on the screen. Very vibrant. But it's still pretty. It's just very muted in color compared to what they have. But I still think it's pretty, but extre extremely busy. You know, they have a swatch of it knitted and crocheted up. And it's like a busy, busy, busy yarn. Yeah. What will I do with this? What will I do with this? 147 yards of a number four weight. I'm going to give them that number four because it's Juniper Moon and they, they, I'm going to look at it though. They know how to classify yeah, that's a nice thick forward too. Nice. Yeah, I like it. That's soft. Um, let me look at it. So, these were both the chain spun ones. This was that Tina one. Jennifer Moon's got them be a softer. They're both chain spun. This one's a softer. But the color on that one's prettier, I guess. Yeah, it is. Um... They have one. I, I don't know why I didn't get it. It's like browns and oranges and stuff. I just got this one because of, I like rainbow though. It's pretty. Because it was called Harlequin. And that's my favorite stitch. That's nice stuff. Maybe I'll make a hat with that. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, I think I will. That'd be hat again. I'm going to have so many hats. Okay, I got two more. Show you and then I'll be gone. Okay, now I bought this before, but... Um, I don't remember who, who oh, I got it off the wool warehouse a, a while ago. It's been a while, long time, long enough that I could barely remember it. Um, and I didn't use it. I gave it to give it to somebody, so or did something with it. It was a mystery box or something. I don't remember. But it's uh, by Sidar. I like Sidar. I think Sidar is a nice brand. And it's called Shawley. <laughs> the name is adorable. So I gotta give it that. So it's 80 acrylic, 10 alpaca, and 10 wool. 492 yards or 450 meters fingering weight no no this is on sale for uh, 863 a ball well so the color is is pretty um the name color name is called chrysanthemum 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 i can never say that one i love the flower though but you know so it's all different colors of like mustard yellow and you know that's up by Agua Day's Alley that's gorgeous it's roving style fingering huh fingering fingering hmm. I can't even look I can't even look I know what it is it's a one way yes it's it's a fingering weight. They did. They got it right. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. It's all right. Look, it's gonna it's gonna fade. It's gonna fade in each other too. I can't use it, you know yours is lightweight, but you know what? 
It's okay. It's okay. I'm telling myself it's okay. While I'm looking at all these beautiful yellows just fading in each other. It feels good too. It feels really it feels it feels nice. I like it. I do. I don't remember it being this thin last time. They must have changed it. No, I'm just kidding. They didn't change it. I don't remember it being that thin, but yeah. I knew it was a fingering when I bought it. I think I was just hoping that it wasn't. But coming from Sadar, I knew that it would be because, you know, they know how to classify as well. Um, it's pretty. I like it. They got a lot of pretty colors. Lots of pretty colors. If you like lightweight yarns like that, I would I would recommend that, definitely. And you can make a, a shawl. Oh. Oh. You know, if I could use fingering weight, that would have been pretty for my my uh, crochet along my shawl. Oh, you guys are watching this on 320. If you're watching this on 327, I almost got that thing done. That crochet along. I hope you guys like it. I don't know, though. It is a hodgepodge. If you don't know, I'm doing a crochet along, but it's a shawl along, okay? Um, because, I don't know. I usually, when I do shawls on here, like for YouTube tutorials, I don't mean to get off subject, but I always do. It's just, I wouldn't be bag with Dave if I didn't. Um, <laughs> when, I, when I do shawls on YouTube tutorials, I generally make it pretty easy because uh, the majority of people like easy stuff. You know, and I'll give them like maybe, a, you know, four row repeat sometimes, maybe a six or eight row repeat, you know, and I'll teach it. It's easier for me to teach that way, you know, I just, as well, um, <clears throat> you know, and I do it easy and then I say repeat these rows, you know, for as big as you want your shawl. Well, I like to also do shawls that are more intricate and they are like, have different, there's no repeat, you know, it's just a bunch of different stitches. Well, I did one for my, um, when I do my um, charity auction, and I showed it on Facebook, and everybody wanted me to do a tutorial on it, but I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm not I didn't want to do a tutorial, because I made it for, uh, specifically for a charity event, and I only, I wanted it to be a one of a kind, you know, um, but I make shawls like that, it's fun, I just don't do YouTube tutorials on them, because the time it takes me to record a shawl that every row almost every, you know that has no repeat there's a whole bunch of different stitches and di you know different rows it takes a long time and the the tutorial would be <clears throat> so long that people wouldn't want to watch it um so i said if people was interested you know i do i would i would do one you know not the one i did for the animal rescue but i would do a different one because you know i do i do them they're fun um because people were interested in, I guess, more intricate stuff. I don't know. That's not what my analytics say. They say people do not like it. They, they don't like it when I put hard stuff on. I mean, that's what that's what YouTube's telling me. That's all. I just go by what YouTube says. You know. I put hard stuff on before. And they're telling me, hey, no one likes that stuff. They want easy stuff. That's what YouTube tells me. Anyways. <laughs> besides that. Um... Uh, yeah, so I, I'm making a shawl. I'm almost done with it. And I hope you guys like it. I'm going to divide it up. I don't know how many videos I'll get out of it, but. And so it's not so long. I made it a shawl long. I'll release one video a week, you know. And uh, like I said, it's pretty hodgepodgey. I like to do them that way. Hodgepodgey, you know. Bunch of just, you know. The hair, this, you know, this stitch here and this stitch there. Here is this, there is stitch. Everywhere there's is a bunch of stitches. And you're like. What in the world is that? What is that thing? I say that sometimes when I when I do one of those shawls, I'm, I hold it. I'm like, what is that thing? What is that? And I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Um, it, but if you guys like it, yeah, I hope you do. This would have been pretty on it, but I, you know, I used a DK weight. That would have been pretty if I could use a fingering. Okay, enough of the shawl along. But anyway, you guys can look for that uh, soon. I'll release a video, tell you the information about it, to show it to you first. Because <laughs> it's not going to be everybody's style, trust me. Everybody has different styles. And, um, you know, my, the way I design things do not appeal to everybody. And they appeal to some. So, you know, it is what it is. And you like what you like. And that's that, it, that, you know, that's it. Okay. 
This is the last one. This is from Ella Ray. I like Ella Ray too. I never had this. A velveteen cotton. I thought it looked interesting. Look at it. I, 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 I didn't know what to expect for them with this one. So it's 81 cotton, 19 polymide, 229 yards, 209 meters, and they say it's a four weight. That sells regular 20 bucks a ball. Um, and they had it at half price. So it's 1990, not 90, $9.95 a ball. Um, pretty good brand. Um, so this red is absolutely outstanding. You know, Bagger Day always, always said this. Bagger Day loves a good red. Mm. Especially the bug red. This is this showing up a little brighter. I'm gonna give it a blood red cl cl classification in real life. It really is a little darker when it's showing. Um, it's pretty, but the name was interesting. Velveteen. Uh, so what they say? Uh, Worst of something four weight. Yeah, I give them that. That's nice. I like it. I, I mean, I like the the weight classification. Good. Figured it would be you. Um. Let me tell how that spun up there. That is chain spun. That's interesting. I like it. Um, so it does have a bit of a, uh, the, the feel of it is, is it the softest cotton in the world? <laughs> no. No. Uh, Bagley Day has felt some soft cottons. But, you know, it's not a specialty cotton, you know. It's not a Pima. It's not a Mako. It's just a regular cotton polymine blend. For that, it being that, it's not bad. But um, I can tell where they came up with the name Velveteen. Um, it does have a bit of a, not really, I wouldn't really consider it, you know, it may be, maybe a little bit of a velvet or a microfibery feel to it. It does. Um, when you look at it close, though, it's it's interesting. You see, it's it's like it's almost been like, See, it's like jagged edges and stuff here and there. It's meant to. I, it's like that in the picture. I noticed that. It's it's interesting. It's an interesting yarn, actually. Um, I I like the look of it. I like the the chain spun, and I like. You know, I'm kind of digging that those jaggedy edges. You know, it gives it something different. Something different. Um, the feel of it, though. <sighs> Wish it was a little softer. Is it garment worthy? Now, garment worthy is what I would say. You know, it's worth it to to use for a garment. You know, it's soft enough that you can make a garment out of it. That's how I usually classify garment or uh, cotton. Garment worthy or kitchen cotton. If it's kitchen cotton, is you know you want you want to make wash rags and dish rags and stuff like that with it, pot holders and whatnot. And then there are just those that are in between, you know, you could use it either or. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that um, I w would make a top with this, but um, I don't think, I think I would wear like a tank underneath of it, actually, to tell you the truth. It's just so interesting looking that um, even though it's not... I don't, it's the feel is, is, you know, it's got, it's just an okay cotton feel, but the look of it, the way it's all jaggedy and the, it's a really neat chain spun looking yarn, um, is so intriguing that I think that I would make a top out of it, like a lacy top and wear a tank under it. Um, I think that if you use the right size hook, um, that it would drape okay, and you could do that. Um, yeah, it's got stretch on it because of the chain spun. Yeah, so I would really wouldn't say it's like garment worthy, like per se, like softness. No, probably not for you know, probably not. But then again, it it, it the price alone would you wouldn't want to buy it for your kitchen either. Um, uh, but uh, um. You've been on sale. You wouldn't want to buy it for your kitchen. But, I don't know. It's it's so interesting looking. I've never really seen a cotton that was so intriguing looking to me. But yet, yeah, felt so unappealing at the same time. It felt unappealing, 
but it's so intriguing the way it looks that I'm I am going to make a top out of it um, just to see what it looks like I think it would make an interesting top um, and I'll make it where I can wear um, a t-shirt or a tank under it or something so yeah I don't know I got, yeah I've never came across that before like I said a cotton that feels so un unappealing but it looks so the looks are so appealing it's, a, it's an interesting one I like that um, I don't think I would buy it again but now that I have it, I will probably make a top out of it because it's just so dang interesting looking. It's pretty too. All right, that's all I got. Oh my, I did get enough to make a top too. I guess I thought it would be softer, but it's okay because I'm still gonna make a, I'm still gonna make a top, but I'm gonna have to make sure that it has a good drape on it and I'll, I'll wear a shirt underneath it. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Uh, maybe I'll make a open front top, you know, just wear over a t-shirt or something during the summer. Um, yeah. You can make bathing suit cover with that. It'd probably be alright for a bathing suit cover or something like that. But, yeah, just to wear, like, a nice top with nothing on, you know, just uh, other than your undergarments, you know. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Mm -mm. But, wearing a shirt, sure. I would, yeah. It's because it's so dang intriguing, you know? Oh, this was fun. Oh, man. You know, I, I think I like pretty much everything I got. Uh, this one, um, I would say, well, the, the feel of it is a little bit disappointing. But the look of it, like I said, it's super cool. I like it. It's I wouldn't buy it again, but I'm going to use what I have. Um, because it was on sale, it looks cool. Um... That's what it has going for it. That's about it. But other, you know, and I have it. So I'm, I'm going to use it. This is so pretty. It was the color for me. The price, no way. I don't know. Come on, Lana Grossa. Come on now. If I could have found this color somewhere else, I know it would have been cheaper. Because Lana Grossa has so many of the same yarns as other companies. Other companies have so many of the same yarns as Lana Grossa. Whatever. Uh, they're just... It's always, you can always find dupes for almost every yarn. Almost every yarn. I've never seen this before, though. I can't say I've ever seen this. It's very interesting. It makes me kind of want to work with it, but it is, you know, it feels, I don't know if I'll be able to. It feels kind of weird. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, this, you know, it is what I expected. The Mallow, this would be hat. I like it. I wouldn't buy it again, though, um, but I like it. Um, and the Tina, it's definitely very, very nice. But I think it's a little pricey for what it is. It's super soft, super pretty. Um, even on sale, it's so a bit pricey. I would probably go for the with the Drop Sky before I went with this because uh, um, this has more yardage and it's less expensive. Um, this one probably feels a little softer, but this is still really soft. So, um, yeah. Pretty colors though. But I'm more of a solid color person, you know. And they didn't have solids in this. But I like it and I'll use it. I don't know about four though. But I will use it. This stuff I said I think is really cool. Um, I'll make it a hat out of it. But I probably won't buy it again either. Not because I don't like it. It's just, you know, I think it would take it'd probably make a pretty cardigan or something. Um, and like I said, I don't know. It's cool. But no, I mean I like it. I'm not disappointed in it at all. No, not 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 at all. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's right up my alley. Um, so a hat that will be. I like you know, I like it. It's cool. That's pretty much what I expected. I think um, the shawley. I I knew I couldn't use it. I don't even know why I got it. I got it. I guess so I could dream about using it. It's so pretty. The roving style. That's pretty. That would be a beautiful shawl. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if you guys like one weights, this is very, very pretty, I think. If you like roving style, too, because it's a roving style. Very, very nice one. But Sadar's a good brand. I think Sadar's worth what they ask. 
I don't know. I don't know. I've seen so much yarn. Sometimes they all kind of start to run together. You know what I mean? Looking the same. All that kind of stuff. This stuff's super cool. Lana Grossa, again, I like it. It's kind of thin. Um, it has to be thin two-way. It's a two-way. The color is so pretty. It looks like a tangerine or something, doesn't it? It has to be made into something. I can work with the two if I really, really like the yarn and my hands will hurt for like two weeks, but I can do it. I can do it. I don't like to do it because I don't like my hands hurting. Um, I try not to drop below four, but I, you know, I use threes every now and then. Twos if I really like it. This is very pretty though. Very citrusy, very springy, summery. Yeah, I like it. That This is another one I think that you guys would like a lot if you like this was a blown yarn. If you like this, the thinner weight yarns, it's pretty. It's nice. Good job, Lena. Lena. That is good. That's nice. Oh, and the Juniper Moon 14. This stuff is super soft. It's super soft. I like it a lot. I'm a little disappointed in the color, though, how muted it was. But I do like, I do love me some Juniper Moon. Um... That's a nice yarn. I wouldn't buy it again though. It's too busy for me. And then they'll have no solids. Now if they had it in a solid, I probably would. Because it's super, super soft. Mmm. Yeah. That's definitely garment worthy. That is nice. But you know what? If I had to pick a favorite, you probably wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't even have thought this in a million years. I'm really liking this pink and orange Mercer Rice cotton. I don't know why. Mercer Rice, I like Mercer Rice cotton, don't get me wrong. It's just not one that I, it's not one of, it's not one I would choose. I would definitely choose Pima or a Mako versus a Mercer Rice. And, you know, in a second. I mean, you wouldn't have to ask me twice. Um, but, oh gosh. It is a, it is, Mercer Rice is a pretty yarn. Or, it is a pretty cotton. Very durable, too. I think maybe I like it because I know it, it's the colors are so much of my daughter, daughter's alley now. She's going to really love it. And the orange fades into the pink. That's another, you know, that's another point I like. And knowing that I'm going to be making my baby girl top out of it and she's going to flip out because of the colors. Now that's, that's priceless. That's why I like it. Though. That's why it's number one for me. Yeah. Knowing that I'm giving it to somebody who will appreciate it. She appreciates everything that I make her. Um, and it's always good, uh, you know, when you make somebody something and you can tell that they genuinely, you know, like it and they appreciate and they know the time that you took, you know, and you, know, you made it with love. She will. She's only eight, but she knows. She knows. All about crochet and she loves everything my, I make her dresses a lot and stuff and she loves to wear it she's learning it and she appreciates what I make her I think it's even like extra extra special when your kids appreciate what you know what you, you make them my other kids none of them I have five you know none of them would give a crap but if I made them something they'd be like probably throw on the floor you know because they don't appreciate stuff like that. They don't understand, I guess. I know I, they wouldn't throw it on the floor. They probably hang in their closet and put it in their drawer and never wear it, you know. Although my son, my oldest son, did ask me. You can shut me off if you want. He did ask me one time, and I just about passed out if I would make him a vest. And I'm like, oh my god, yes, yes. Well, let's go pick out the yarn. I couldn't believe it. But yeah, it's nice. That's why I like it, I think, so much. It is pretty color, too. That's my favorite. That was fun. Lots of new yarns I've never seen. My oh my. What to work with first? I don't know. <sighs> Probably a hat with this. No, I might. After I finish my shawl that I'm making for the crochet line. I don't know. Uh, I'll do, I, won't, I won't do a tutorial for my daughter's top, but I'll just do that I'm in my spare time, you know? I'll uh, probably work on that now here and there. It is a thin. It's not. It's a thin DK. It's like what I say was more like a two. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for her because 
sure I just know she'll love it. She'll flip out over the color, so. And that's the greatest to see. That makes it all worthwhile. My hands hurting with that two weight. Even if it was two months of hurting, I'd do it. Just to see her smile over something that I made her and see her appreciate it. Especially for her young age. All right, I'm gonna go. Um, I'll see you guys on my next video. Sorry I talk so much. You could shut me off anytime, you know. Anytime. I'll see you later, all right? Take care. All right. Bye, guys.